Hi folks, welcome back. We're doing a little mouse. We ran out of tape in the other one, the third one. So, sorry about that. I thought I had more room on that. Okay, well, anyway, what we're doing is we're doing a, a mouse here. We're just scooping out the back of the ears here and trying to get them shaped up a little bit more. Um, just taking a look here what we need here. Okay, I'm just going to trim, whoops, I'm going to trim this off just a tad here. Just like so. And blend this all in. Okay. Alright. It's not good to scrape your knife across stuff, but every so often you'll have to do that to get into places. Don't be alarmed. Just make sure you strap your knives just like you should. Okay. And then, uh, you know, we're going to go back here and we're going to just kind of scoop that all the way around. Scoop that out. a lot shorter so we'll, we're going to make this these are a little shorter a little bit too high there we just trim them off a little bit like so now we're just going to scoop this up a little bit it's really important to have a good and sharp knife folks it really is um, I can't stress that enough to you learn how to sharpen your knives okay that's, it's so incredibly, incredibly important to make sure that you know how to sharpen up your knives. A lot of, a lot of the uh, detail in this thing is right around the ears. You know, learning how to cut those out and, you know, how to round off that bottom there. Okay, I'm going to just trim that off, do a side over here, I'm just going to make that a little blunt there on, on the end here, it's up to you if you want to add a little line there, but okay, he's coming along pretty good. All right, so now we're going to keep going with his face here. We're going to just try to trim this out a little bit more here. And have it go under like so. Okay. All right. Same thing over here. Just want to kind of make that little distinction there be underneath. And I round that off at the bottom there. I did that before. Okay. So what you want to do is try to get rid of that line there in the front. So we're going to go back and scoop a little bit of that out. No two carvings look alike. These two won't look alike either because I always learn when I do a little bit more on something. You think, ah, oh, this needed to be a little bit more rounded or this needs to be a little bit more different. So if you carve a piece, folks, especially you new folks, you know, and you think, oh my, I don't want to take too much wood off. Uh, you'll find that uh, a lot of times you don't take enough off, okay? Uh, that's usually the case in the opposite way. It happens both ways, but more than not, a new carver is going to be afraid to, car to carve too much off, and it'll be a little bit rounded. I mean, a little bit square instead of rounded. And if you stick at it for a couple, you know, for a year or so, you'll definitely see a difference. You know, so don't hesitate to um, to see, you know, to continue on with a project and doing the same one later again, and you'll see a vast difference in a year. Uh, you know, even even my style, my Santas, uh, they get a little more defined every time I do them now uh, than before. Okay, so we're gonna just cut a little V here. We're gonna do one side. A little bit of an angle, okay? And then we're going to do the other side, going down. 
almost like a chip carving there. Okay? Same over here. We're going to put cut it so. And cut the other side out. This is just a quick little project, folks, for you guys that uh, are gals or whoever is carving out there in the world. Uh, just something simple for you guys, folks, to do. Okay? So, alright, the last thing I did with this, um, I have to define the ears a little more, so I'm going to cut it in a little deeper. And the thing with the ears, you want to be careful you don't go too deep. You want to be careful you don't snap them off. Alright. Uh, make sure your knife is really sharp for that. I'm going to get offline and make define them a little bit more than what I have now. And um, just a little V-cut, a little triangular cut. All right. That's all that is. All right. And then the last thing, we're going to just round that off a little bit more because to me it's a little long. I know there's some mice that really have long ears. Uh, I should know. I've seen you playing around the farm here, I'll tell you. They get in everything. But this is like a little house mouse. You know, I'm not doing it exactly to, for competition or anything. I'm just doing this for a fun project, you know. Because there was a young man in the UK that wanted me to do a mouse. And I said, well, see what I can come up with. And I came up with this one night, whittling and um, carving and decided it might be something cute to try you see how I'm going around back and forth on it you know looking at it and re-looking at it that's what you want to do now the tail is pretty simple all you want to do is round that off and taper it to the end we're going to just round this off here a little bit and the tail technically should be longer but I didn't want it super long uh, if you want to burn it with a wood burner and burn the hair on you can do that uh, I won't be doing that on this segment or on, at this time anyway. I wasn't doing a realistic mouse. I was just doing uh, something that would be fun and simple for a beginner to do. See how I'm just trimming off all? Just trimming it out. You can make it a little bit smaller. Now we have a tendency of um, overcutting it with a bandsaw and that's okay because you can always take it off. You can't put it back one. Okay. All right, and I'll be back to finish this up. Uh, when we come back, we'll put the eyes on and stuff and do a little bit more, um, uh, do the, the leg portion here. Okay, we'll be right back.